Good morning, viewers. Welcome back to the channel. You are, as always, here with me, your Birdman, Birdman Johnson, and we are playing Dwarf Fortress, and today we're doing something kind of interesting. Um, this, don't, this is not on Ramudung. These dwarves are not the Allied Mountain. Logum Labor Conjures is nowhere to be found. This is an entirely new world, I will explain momentarily. The Continents of Tribute. Pay no attention to the map. This is simply a subscriber appreciation special for my Dwarf Fortress viewers who give me most of my views. Uh, I've done a couple of subscriber specials. I did the 25 special and we're in the middle of the 50 special at the time I'm doing this, but I haven't done anything for my Dwarf Fortress viewers. I actually meant to get this out a few subscribers ago. We're currently sitting at 75, so you can figure out for yourselves the joke there. Um... And I just thought it would be nice to do something for you. So this is going to be an extended session. I'm basically just going to sit here and play for a few hours until this goes sideways or I get sick of it. And we'll see what happens. Now, let's go to the map. We're in a haunted biome. There's a tower there. <laughs> um, and this will be a microfort experiment, so it's going to be above ground. Uh, we're allowed to dig down to mine for minerals, but all of our structures have to be above ground. Which means that the very first thing we're going to do is chop down some trees. These are our dwarves. Let's get to know our dwarves real quick. Stodier the miner. Annoyed when caught in the rain. <laughs> we have the timer. It's, it's been one tick. And we're already annoyed about the rain. Worshipper of Oozle. I don't know who that is. Uh, we are the Shield of Dawn. We're the buff denomination. We're the Daggers of Flesh. And our fort is called Tomb Market. Because we're in a haunted biome, right? Right. Okay, so Stodir the Miner. 56 years old. Short hair, so she's got a fairly tidy appearance. Great affinity for language, good creativity. Uh, but an iffy memory overall, questionable spatial sense. Uh, she wants to create a great work of art. Stukos the Miner. She's also annoyed about being rained on and is a worshipper of Uzol. Are these different dwarves? 76 years old, slightly upturned nose, short eyelashes. I'm glad we know that. Uh, good sense of the position of her own body and has a way with words, so kind of the opposite. No, also questionable spatial sense. Neither of our miners is terribly coordinated, but she dreams of raising a family. We'll see about that. Eater the Woodworker. Gear Chains, I like that name. Also annoyed about the rain. Uh, a worshipper of the still earth. That's interesting. 77 years old, durable. Great ability to focus. Iron will, great analytical abilities. Poor spatial senses. <laughs> Seems like proprioception might be an issue with our dwarves. He dreams of creating a masterwork. That should be quite doable. Stodier the Woodcutter. Bolt Winds, that's a cool name. Uh, she's also a knight about the rain, worships something called Bujit. 64 years old, strong, good memory, good feel for social relationships, bad intuition, but she has decent spatial awareness, and she dreams of creating a great work of art. Easy enough. Ill Ral the Farmer. Annoyed about the rain, also worships Bujit, 72 years old, slow, flimsy, empathetic, Creative, intuitive, poor analytical abilities. English the Mechanic. Annoyed about the rain, dubious worshipper of Oozle. Interesting. 77 years old, never sick, good spatial sense. Uh, natural linguist, poor empathy, quick to tire. And Lorbam, our expedition leader. Annoyed about the rain. Dubious worshipper of something called Kulat the Mindful Knowledge. That's very intriguing. 63 years old. Quick to heal. Rarely sick. Gets tired easy. Empathetic. Naturally musical. Okay. Analytical. Creative. Focused. Poor memory. Meager kinesthetic sense. Mm-hmm. Our dwarves are not very coordinated. Well, let's let them get started chopping that wood. And while that's happening, I'm going to bring up Dwarf Therapist here. Something I should have done already. 
I'm gonna shoot for like a three-hour session here and we'll just see what happens. Oh, is there anything in the immediate vicinity? Giant sparrows and a peregrine falcon. Oh, there was one other thing. I believe it is English the mechanic. It is a hammer dwarf. English tomes freckles. Uh, because this is a haunted biome, we'll be dealing with undead. The best way to handle undead is to smash them with a hammer. So ideally, we'll find some silver down below. In fact, we should immediately begin mining. Um, I'll explain the micro fort right now, I guess. Um, basically, I'm just going to lay out an area here. Um, for right now, okay, let's do like this for the time being. Basically, I am going to mark out an area here above ground and we'll be restricted to building within that area. Right now, I am just securing the embark zone. Um, I have increased the Z levels up to, I think, 25 it was, to give us room to build up. Okay, great. We'll start with that. Everybody should rush to get that done. I need to come over here and make sure that everyone's an architect. Oops, I accidentally made them all mechanics as well. You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Everyone can be a mechanic and an architect. Okay, great. But we need stone in order to take advantage of that. Okay. We're going to start digging down right here, right next to the wagon. Uh, we'll order some more trees chopped down. Because we need to get inside as soon as possible. Let's... There we go. We'll put in a staircase over here. Okay, we'll get started on that. Um, let's dig down here. <laughs> We're gonna have to get moving a little faster than I normally would with these forts. Um, I want up downstairs. Well, no, let's just do downstairs for now. We'll put the up down in the middle of this structure. Beautiful. We're not going to be too concerned about quality on anything here. Our objective is just to survive. Okay, have we struck rock yet? This is loam. This is... What? Why am I struggling so much? Here we go, here we go. Okay, rock salt. <laughs> it's raining, so this is probably not ideal, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, lads. You know the drill. Um, also, for that matter, are there any plants we can gather here? Sure doesn't look like it, so... Let's do like that. We'll do something like that, and like this. Nope, what am I doing? can't do that. Uh, I was going to build a farm underground, but we can't do that. 
I should have brought a fisherman. Except we want to avoid butchering as much as possible. Okay. Now then. I'm just going to designate like an arbitrary... Something like that. Okay, there we go. Um, and within that square has to be our has to be our fort. We can go up, we can't go down. We'll let them get the corner pieces in. And the sort of usual rules apply here. Um, you know, we have to get, we have to allow for 200 dwarves and the monarch and all that have to be self-sufficient. Um, to that end, we're just gonna keep hacking down trees. I definitely wanna have the area right around the walls clear. Item blocking path, yeah, I'm not concerned about it. We should probably put a floor here so they can get to that. How are we doing down here? We're doing. We need to get this roofed off. But they've at least got a rain-free zone they can stand in here. Oh good, we struck a late night. That's fortuitous. Okay, I want here. And I want here. Obviously, I didn't worry about making anything symmetrical this time. Let's just fill these in. What am I doing? That's always the question that we ask in these, right? What is he doing? Why is he doing that? Okay, make that happen. Just one of the miners working on mining. And I don't know exactly why those are suspended. I think there were logs in the way. This is the exciting part, right? When we're just getting the fort started, there's always this big flurry of activity right at the beginning. Okay, I do want... sort of guard towers here. Tear that back up. And in just a moment, we will begin roofing things. Yep, everybody's thirsty. Fortunately, we've got water nearby. It's not 
Good water. <laughs> but it's water. That's something, right? Not that concerned about the suspended construction for the time being. We need stairs. On all of these. here. Let's hotkey this for the time being. Okay, I need to um, go over here to Dwarf Therapist, take our miners, and take them off of construction detail. Because I really need them mining. I don't know why I picked this size, it just felt right. This will be fine. Although, you know what, let's do two wide doorways. Let's do the smart thing here. There we go. Okay. We are ready to build some workshops. Carpenter's workshop, crafter's shop, mason's shop. Uh, what else do we need right out of the gate? Mechanic's shop. There we go. Um, and we're gonna build a stone pile here. And a wood pile here. Then once those are built, we need to build some nest boxes. We have chickens. We have four hens. And we do have the usual dogs. Say, is there any um, grazable terrain here? Yes, okay, this is grass. <laughs> I was a little worried our grazing animals wouldn't have anything to eat. We really want to avoid butchering animals as much as possible. We're going to need a crusher fairly early on, I think. We should start getting this roofed off as soon as possible. That's wrong. Here we go. We need up downstairs. Ooh, we struck milk quartz. Oh yeah, I don't have a jeweler. Well, I'm not that worried about it. Not that worried. chair and a table. And you know what? I am going to... Nope, there are no plants here. <laughs> okay. We might be trading for all of our food. Well, we have eggs. Yes, good. Dig. Dig the, 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 the holes. Diggy hole. 
That's a lot of rock salt. That's interesting. Looks like we got a good amount of lignite, though. Right now, I just want the rock salt so that we can uh, do, do that. So that we can get blocks going. Long enough? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, nobody built that bridge yet. There we go. Okay, great. Okay, we are building the table and chair. There's the table. Excuse me, I ordered that done now. One of you go do that. Thank you. Okay. Once we have a table and a chair... Are you not done with that chair yet? There we go. Somebody install the chair, please. Why are you getting hungry? Is there no food here? It's a lot of dead grass. Come to think of it, it's all dead grass, isn't it? Okay. Well. <clears throat> Never you mind what I'm doing. Okay, this needs to be an office. Okay, the expedition leader is happy with the meager office, which is just sitting out on the dirt. It's fine. Uh, we need some wooden crafts. We'll start with 30 of them. Even more so than my usual forts, we will be eschewing conventional wisdom here and just kind of doing whatever. Which is the way I prefer to play anyway. Let's chop down some more trees. What are these anyway? These are dead, they're dead trees. All the trees are dead. Oh, we're not going to get new trees, are we? Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Well, we're going to use all the wood we have for now. It's not like we're going to get fruit out of these. Is this thing ready yet? Yes, it is. Let's do 10 mechanisms to start. Well, hold it. Let's do 20 mechanisms to start. So we're actually going to need quite a few here. Interrupted by a grackle woman. Grackles! Grackles! Stop, this isn't happening. <laughs> Why are we fighting with the Grackles? Please stop, let them leave. Please don't kill anybody. 
Please don't die. Okay, well, we've killed a Grackle Woman. For those of you who are not aware, Grackles are annoying little birds that live in America. Probably other places, too. They're vile little wretches. <laughs> they are exactly what you are picturing something called a Grackle to be. Okay, we need to deal with that. Uh, we need a door. The door is a safety measure. We didn't lose anybody, right? No. I might have given them too much to do all at once, we're gonna find out. Doors built. Now we need the bridge. <clears throat> it's gonna be a little uncomfortable here for the immediate future. But I suppose I can order some beds constructed. <clears throat> what was that? It's a dog. Would somebody please finish this bridge? Oh boy. It's a good thing we're outside right now so that it won't generate miasma. Yeah, I gave him too much to do all at once. That's fine. It will all get done, eventually. Eventually. There's a question. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we got a skunk. We got a skunk and a grackle man still on the map. Where is he? Oh, he's gone. Turkeys. Normally that would be a good thing, but livestock is actually less great right now. Oh, we need some nest box. Nest boxing, so that we can exploit our hens. Because we're going to need some food. Sure, let's build a kitchen and a still. Let's build a butcher's shop, I guess. Why not? We don't have a butcher. Uh, the butcher can be our... Uh, how about... Who's our mechanic? Our mechanic can be the butcher. If I can locate butchery, there we go. Butchery. Cool. Okay. Oh, gee, is it raining? Well, we can't butcher that Grackle woman. I don't know why I'm building a butcher's shop for that. <laughs> That's a person. We can't eat her. Hey, all right. Nest box going up. Um, in fact, let's designate this the hen house. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
once we get that butcher shop going, we'll butcher our camel and our horse. Oop, seasonal save. Summer could be humans. Doubtful. I think I have gotten a human caravan before, but it was a long, long time ago. Almost done with the first mine shaft. That'll do us on stone for the immediate future. We are going to need. Well, we're going to need a lot of things. There we go, we're getting the eggs. We need a food stockpile, which for this exact moment will be here. And here, uh, we're also going to make 10 rock pots. Oh good, we have beds. Okay then. The beds are going to go in here for the time being. Uh, someone's just going to have to crawl into the corner. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good, we got the nest boxes. We'll get eggs now. some doors so that we can secure those uh, guard houses. <laughs> I would really like this to get done. <coughs> I would really like that cough to stop. How are we doing on mechanisms? Mechanisms are going okay. So we can go ahead and build a lever here. Any doors yet? No, but that's fine. And that is a dormitory. Okay, great. Now y'all can sleep undercover and not on the bare ground. I know that's something you dwarves hate. Oh, good. We're finishing a bridge. Looks like we're finishing it. No, we're just designing it. Okay. Why not finish that one first? Why you go over there? Okay, great. We got the butcher shop. Now I really, really want... We're going to make that not pet passable. I really, really want the crusher finished. start with easy meals. We apparently have no plants that we can extract from, probably because we have no barrels. Not to worry, Ilral the farmer has this on lockdown. Oh hey, that's done. Okay. Link to... Bridge. Link to that bridge. Fabulous. Um, I also want to put. We'll put two levers here for now. Well, no. What am I saying? They're going to stay there. We're losing some logs into the water. I'm not that concerned about it. 
Can't wait to see what winter looks like here. Okay, good. The drawbridges are getting finished. Um, I would like this... Oh, it's linked. Okay. Go ahead and pull that. We're going to lock that door. Great. Okay. That's the dump. And now that we've got the dump set up, we can go ahead and butcher the horse and the camel. We can dump this grackle woman and her head. Sparrow remains. What all do we have here that needs to go away? Dump all of it, please. Oh, we need a trade depot, which can go here, I guess. Okay, great. First mine shaft is done. Let's start digging out the second. Hey, migrants. I was just thinking we could use some migrants. Okay. We'll have some more body parts here that need to go away now. Dispose of... Well, no, we'll just, uh build a tanner's shop next to the butcher's shop and get that taken care of. We need to immediately dump, however, the nervous tissue, the hair, the cartilage, and the hooves. Do we have a bone carver? Let's refresh. Dwarf therapist. I don't see a bone carver, but I do see a dwarf that doesn't look like they have anything to do. So we'll make them a butcher, tanner, and bone carver. There they go to work. Dump, dump, dump. Great. Okay. Is the store still locked? No. They're just not doing it. Please dump those body parts. Um, let's also go up here to the crafting shop. We need... Ooh, actually, I have a better idea. Let's make a totem. We should have two totems that we can make, and then let's just decorate everything with bone. Until we run out of bone. Okay, now can we make drinks? Now we can make drinks. What you doing? You're tanning hides. This is the garbage dump. Feel free to take the garbage in there. Maybe at some point I'll have to designate a dwarf solely as a garbage dumper. Okay. This is going to be for the exterior bridges. Some more mechanisms. More lignite, fantastic. Uh, let's get a couple more crafting. Well, we'll get one more for now. One more crafting shop. You know what? There's no reason to be stingy here. Just build them. We can tear it down if we don't need it later. We need some more roofing here. These need to be floors. Let's 
Let's chop down some more trees. We'll probably want to start using stone pretty soon. How come our chickens are not actively laying eggs? I expect them to lay around the clock 24, 7, however long a year is in Dwarf Fortress. Oh good, they brought animals with them. Uh, butcher that. Nothing we can do about that lamb, but it's gonna starve to death anyway. Okay, great. That'll secure the uh, inner and outer. The second level here is going to be housing. We're going to do some fairly compact rooms this time. I don't know how many are going to fit. Obviously, I just kind of picked an arbitrary size here. Okay, we have butchered the calf. So once again, we come in here, we find the stuff that we can't really use. Maybe we can eat the cartilage? I don't know, get rid of it. everything linked here? Yes. Our mechanic has been very efficient. I think this is one of those cases where basically there has to be nothing for them to do except dump trash before they will do it. So in the meantime we'll just have to hope that nothing animates. But we are at war with two towers. Can I... No, I guess I can't see that. Yeah, we're at war with two towers, though. I can see one of them. Oh, there's the other one. Okay. <laughs> Nearly a day's travel. It's just... It's just right there. And... We do have goblins over here, so, you know, expect that. All we can do right now is hide. Oh, we need some buckets. Go ahead and make five buckets. Also, we need to install these corners here sooner rather than later. So I don't screw up later. Oops, that's wrong. Install the corners first. The dwarves have trouble building diagonally, but only sometimes. kitchen. Do not cook the plump helmets. Do not cook the booze. Okay, there we go. That could have been a disaster. Kib is an adequate poet. Hmm, interesting. Oh, actually, you're quite the musician, aren't you? We're gonna build a tavern for you. That's what we're gonna do. Thirty 
pretty. Use the rock salt. I think rock salt's pretty low value. So we'll use that for building materials. Realistically, of course, that would be insane. You could only use rock salt as a building material, I would think, in a place where it never rained. Which I guess is the present, is the, uh, the conceit of the uh, Gandalara cycle. That's uh, Randall Garrett, I think, if anybody's looking for reading material. Okay, that's done. Yep, you've all seen me build artificial floors before. Just floors, I guess. Um, we're gonna build the whole thing and then tear it apart to accommodate our actual needs. I would love for all this stuff to get dumped. Please, before something terrible wanders onto the map. Gonna resist using auto dump as long as possible. It's a little red ass. Is that the lamb? That's the lamb. Oh, I would butcher you if I could, but your owner would be very mad at me. <laughs> Just turkeys on the map so far. struck lignite. Maybe we should begin exploiting that, huh? We can build a smelter. No reason not to give the dwarves one more thing to do, right? We'll need a wood furnace to take advantage of that. It's a great use of our limited wood. Oh, what are those? Those are langers. Those need to go away. They will steal things from us. The slings of luring, sure, whatever. Um, English, Fikad, Rith. Go get them, lads. Run them off before they steal stuff. Uh, I think that monkey got the better of our dwarf. Oh, well, that's super disappointing. <laughs> we don't have a doctor, so it's going to be the expedition leader on top of everything else. Oh, we lost a dwarf. Okay. <laughs> That's probably my fault. I'm not sure. Hard to say. Okay, well, it's not you, then. It must be you. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Chasing these monkeys around. Why are you doing it? Okay, just one left. Get out of the fort. There we go. Okay. We only lost one dwarf fighting some monkeys. That's, um, that's not ideal. That's really not ideal. Oops. Actually, you know what? Um, we are not going to bother with coffins. Where's that mason shop?
we're gonna do slabs and mulch the corpses. Musarnalam, is that the, um, is Musarnalam the monkey that killed one of our dwarves? Yep. <laughs> well, that's, um, super unfortunate. You're, you're butchering them? Good, you're butchering the monkeys. We'll have monkey meat. That is something I will not eat. I don't need anything that close to a person. Maybe, maybe in a survival situation I would be able to eat a monkey. Probably not an ape, though. They are just far too human. Okay, well, we are butchering the langers, which I like. Oh, I need that peasant. Um, who is that peasant? Kib. Kib the peasant needs to not be assigned to construction, but War Therapist is frozen on me again. Butcher now, please. Oh, nope. Okay. Nothing else is butcherable. Well then. Dump. 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 Dump, 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 dump. Kib, you are off construction duty. In fact, I'm just gonna do like this. You can be on burial. You can be on hauling. Refuse hauling is the main thing I want you doing. Okay, really, I guess it is just construction and deconstruction that I don't want you doing. Well, you can do deconstruction. There we go. I fixed it. <laughs> Would somebody please dump the garbage? I don't want to use auto dump. Okay, great. We got those slabs coming along. I also want... There we go. Do we have an engraver? We do now. Okay, great. Uh, over here. Engrave memorial slab for Rip, not the monkey. the engraver, who is also Stukos the Miner. A lot of people with multiple jobs right now. <laughs> oh great, that's almost done. That lamb is going to be starving to death fairly soon. Uh, tragic but unavoidable, frankly. We don't have enough dwarves. Okay, slab time. We're gonna put it here. That'll prevent ghosts and we can just smash the corpses. What are you, a kiwi cock? Nope, no kiwi. Well, are kiwis okay? Kiwis don't steal stuff, right? Let's get rid of it just in case, huh? Lost track of it, there we go. Where's the militia? <laughs> 
Thank God, drop the rock, man. Uh, who's the other guy? I have forgotten. Oh, Ingish. Who is asleep? Okay. It's all on you, Fickod, with your rock. This was probably a poor decision on my part. Where are you going? There, there it is. Okay, yeah, this, this is not gonna happen. <laughs> Did you just, um... Dropped your clothes there, okay. Clothes are a little torn up after the monkey fight, huh? Why will you not do this? Do I have to make a pet passable before you'll dump the garbage? Seems hazardous. got some decorated we got a few decorated items here good we got some pots what plants do we have that we can't cook plump helmets which should be cookable we just don't have we need some more pots, is the issue. I think we're going to be trading for all food when the caravan arrives. As much as we can get. We could use a few more dwarves. Ugh, I'm gonna run out of coffee well before this is over. Although, you know what? This seems like a good time to take a break. It's been about an hour. I'm gonna get up and stretch my legs, and then I will be right back with you viewers. Sit tight for me.